Welcome back. This is Coin Metallurgist. I hope you're all having an excellent day today. I have two world silver coins I want to show you today. These are both from Europe and they're both 10 euro coins. The first one we're going to look at here is on the left. This is a 10 euro coin from Finland from 2002. This is a, of course a non-circulating coin. It's a proof coin. Um, it's sterling silver, 27 grams. Um, the diameter is 38.6 millimeters. It has a smooth edge. Um, these coins kind of get into a realm that I don't know if I want to start into. There are so many European countries making Euro coins. And you look at how many commemorative coins there are just in like the two Euro coins that are like circulating coins. It's insane how many there are. And then if you go into looking like their silver commemorative like this that they make, you could collect these and nothing else and collect coins for a lifetime, I, I, you know, I would say. Um, but I, I don't know a whole lot about uh, the design here. Um, it, it's pretty simple. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Um, I wasn't even able to kind of figure out what this really is. Um, just a, a nice coin. We got 80... Uh, two years there so the and this says in the cursive elias lone rat i i mean I, I don't know how to even pronounce the guy's name to tell you the truth or even like pronounce this word over here can sun run um but this coin i mean is a commemorative of of this person right here um but just a 10 euro coin um, and this one of course like the face value of it is 11 us dollars um, right now it, it has more silver than that and it has like 13 dollars in silver um, but let's take a look at this other one here this one is from slovakia and this 10 euro coin is from 2011 and it's commemorating the hundredth birth of jan Sicker, I mean, this is the name right here. Like, again, I just, I don't know how to pronounce it. So this person was born in 1911, died in 1989, but celebrating the 100th birth. And I believe this is piano keys right here. Um, just kind of a little bit on the design there. And then this is not in English, but I do know what the translation of what's written here on the, on the edge What's inscribed, it's the translation that I have is music, the universal language of mankind. That's kind of a cool um, inscription. And then on this side, um, I really like this design. I think I like this one more than the Finnish coin. Uh, we got a harp here. And um, I don't know what the, this building here is, some kind of opera house or, or something. Not sure. I'll tell you guys the truth. Um, but kind of a simple design, uh, a smaller coin. Uh, let's see, this is 90% silver, whereas the other one was sterling. This is 18 grams and only a 34 millimeter diameter. So a smaller coin. And I don't know um, how Europe does this. And I don't know if any of you guys know if they standardize um, the size of like 10 euro or other commemorative silver coins. And if they like adjust it. Um, each year or with some curiosity with a silver price changes. So um, it's like we're in 2002, silver wasn't expensive. And so you had a bigger coin be the 10 euro coin. And here in 2011, you have this 10 euro coin, which face value, this is a, okay, like 11 US dollars right now. But this one has like $13 of silver and this one only like less than eight and a half dollars of silver. Um, over nine years later. So I don't know, um, if somebody knows, please make a comment below on if Europe kind of standardizes the size of silver commemorative coins in the Euros. Um, but two coins that I probably would not have normally picked up, but I got a really good price on them. Um, I've been telling you guys what I paid for a lot of these. I did pay um, more than the silver price on these two. I ended up paying $25 um, which I believe at the time was around my $15 premium, 15% premium that I was trying to shoot for as a, a max bid. 
Um, but happy with them overall. Really happy with all the silver coins I got. But thank you all for watching. Appreciate your support on my channel. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all next time with, with another video.